Hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Monster in the World. Today we are gonna be taking on the Tempered Devil Joe event quest that dropped I think yesterday on March 24th. I could be wrong, it's either March 24th or March uh, 23rd. It's one of them, I don't remember when, but I'm recording this on March 25th. So yeah, uh, Tempered Devil Joe, just go to the event area. And as long as you're hunter rank 50 or above, you can take on this quest. And you can also do this online with other player as well. But I'm taking on this thing solo. And uh, yeah, this is not my first time. I've actually tried to fight this thing for a few times. And I got my ass whooped pretty hard. Because uh, this thing hits really, really freaking hard. Uh, it can 1 to 2 shot you, I believe. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, if you wanna, if you want a bit of a challenge, uh, you can take this thing on solo. I've seen people kill this thing in five minutes. I don't know if um, uh, well, they they kill this thing tempered five minutes on YouTube. Maybe I just mis misread the title or whatever. But man, if that's true, holy shit, because this thing took me forever. So right here, I'm just getting my buffs on. Um. Yeah, I'm not doing this live because <laughs> uh, it just took too long. And uh, slapping on my rock city mantle. I don't know if this is a good idea because this thing hits really hard. And if it combos you, if it do like if it does like a double hit and you're in your rock steady, then you're screwed. So yeah, he just bumped me and took away a good amount of my health. And he did tackle, took away half of my health. So if he had bit me right there, I would have been done. And I'm just gonna focus on its underside, because that's where um, slashing. It seems like that's where slashing damage does most damage. So he did another tackle and took away half my health again. So I'm just running Mega Potions right here. This is like pretty much an Elder Dragon fight level kind of thing. I feel like he even hits harder than the Elder Dragons. I don't know, maybe I'm just. Uh, overthinking it, but yeah. Uh, also, uh, this guy. It seems like a lot of people are saying that this guy will drop stream stones more than more than usual. So yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I took I took him on this once and I didn't get shit. Maybe I just got really unlucky. But um, yeah, I should have popped the lucky voucher. But I don't know. Whatever. So that move, I believe, will one-shot you. Uh, I believe. I have... All my equipment have been uh, augmented. So, yeah, I, I, it might not have one-shot me, but I never bothered to uh, try to get hit by that little jaw slamming to the ground move. Whenever I get hit by that attack, it's uh, usually he hit me with something else and then I get hit by that attack. Uh, otherwise... I try not to get uh, hit by that uh, super heavy jaw slam attack move. Look at that. Look at that damage right there. Holy crap. It took away. What was that? It took away 3 fourths of my health. Man, this guy is crazy. Yeah, if you guys can tell, I just woke up. <laughs> no, like, okay, let's let's do a video before I work. Because um, I got I gotta go to work in a uh, really short time. It's like, an hour or something. So yeah, and this guy ended up getting caught in the vine trip, uh, vine trap. So that was pretty good. Um, I don't know the thing about Devil Joe in this game. I don't know. I don't remember how it was in the other game, but it seems like I have a hard time hitting the longsword combo with the spirit slash sometimes. Cause he's like too tall and too lengthy and stuff like that. I don't know. Stubby ass arms. If you counter this hit and you hit him in the face as he's coming down like that. Um, I believe you can actually do a knockback, um, but I haven't been able to hit him in the face when he was doing that um, fighting attack. Like if you hit him, he and he gets like staggered and he's and he rears back uh, with a uh, retaliate attack. Uh, if you hit him in the face, you can drop him. I believe. Okay, but if you hit him somewhere else, um, I don't think you can do that. 
stomp though. That stomp, it's actually one of the dang most dangerous moves that can hit you in uh, in this tempered fight. Because if he hits you with the stomp, it can knock you back where you do that weird animation where you're half up, half down, and your character is just like laying there posing. Um, yeah. <laughs> if he gets you with a stomp and that you're you're on the ground like that, he can do a follow-up attack and you can't do anything about it and you'll die. So it's it's pretty it's pretty uh freaking dangerous. But this guy is surprisingly weak. Can I get it? Nope, he, he bit me instead this time. But uh like I was saying, this guy is surprisingly really vulnerable to um stuns it seems. Well flashes I would say. So yeah, I, when it's not pissed off at least, when it's not pissed off when you flash it, it's um, it doesn't move around as much as like other monsters, so it kind of just stays in one place, and you can just kind of wail at it. Holy shit, that tail sweeping attack though. Yeah, pop the max potion because they didn't want to try to chuck mega potion and then it gets. Me. Tackle, so we're gonna counter. Oh, I got the, I got the hit. Almost got a hit. But it's okay, we did it, so it's all good. This, this has gotta be one of the. Ah shit. Yeah, the laser does a lot of damage too. Ooh crap. But yeah, this has gotta be one of the, one of the uh, most. Oh no no no. I want to get the bigger wasp. I don't want to be grabbing, grabbing his tracks right now. We got the time for that. But this is one of the most difficult, one of the most difficult fights um, in this game, I would say. It's like finding a tempered elder dragon for the first time or something. But yeah, um, I hadn't had trouble with a monster or, or the temper monster for a while. This is the first time <laughs> in in a while. Cause this guy hits so freaking. It's like, I mean, his attack patterns aren't really hard to read, but sometimes I do misread them, or I can't. I just can't dodge in time like that, you know? Cause I, cause he just does the tail sweep, or. A spin attack, and I'm in the middle of the combo, and I just can't dodge it. Um, yeah, like the final few hit combos or whatever, of the spear slash, or if you barely initiated an attack, you can't just dodge the moment your sword's about to swing. So, yeah, uh, and it gets me like that. Ooh, and we get the mount, so that it's pretty good. And it looks like he's tired. We saved, we saved the great, the great Jagras. From that abuse, and it seems like it's only those two great jaggers that are in this map. It doesn't look like there is um, uh, basil juice here, so you don't need to worry about bringing dung pot and jab the face. Boom. Okay. Yeah, this guy. Um, I don't know, I don't feel really comfortable uh, using the Helm Splitter attack. Because every time, like if he's not doing anything, like if he just finished a normal attack and he didn't fall or anything, or he's not tired or anything, uh, if it's, uh, he just finished a normal attack, I wouldn't risk doing um, Helm Splitter on him because if he does any kind of attack and he interrupts you and he hits you, while you're coming down, it does a shitload of damage. You can expect like half of your health to be gone, or at least one fourth of it. Just like that, the tail slam. I mean, not tail slam. Tail spin attack. It does so much damage. It's like I don't know. I would assume one of the weakest attacks that a monster can do. But he still does. He still does a shitload of damage with that thing. So and. I don't know. I feel like um, when he's when he's pissed off like this, when there's red on him, uh, you hit him in the chest, and you get a higher chance of making him rear back. And once he rear backs, uh, 
you can try doing a counter hit or hit him in the face as he's coming uh, and you can send you can send him knocking back I don't know if that makes sense man, but just woke up my brain cells ain't working as well <laughs> but I do wanna I do wanna record this video before like I said before I go to win and counter that slam and I get it this time nope but he got me though it's okay rock steady armor for the win. Okay, he's gonna take off. No problem. No problem. And if he's not pissed off, or if you guys want to risk it, uh, have flashes and also bring flash bugs. So you can kind of use this technique um, where. If he is trying to leave, you can keep flashing him, and then he'll just kind of stay in one place. He'll do some attacks, but it won't be as extreme. So we can just keep flashing shit out of him, and just keep wailing on him. Um, that's one technique that I found that works pretty well against this guy. And damn, look at that breath attack. Okay, he's not pissed off anymore. I'm going to pop a max potion, just in case... I don't want to get hit and die. I, I've actually got this guy to to limp twice, so I could have capped him right there, and that would have been a run. But I I just couldn't help it. I just wanted to slay this guy. I'm like, you know, a, a cap it's 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 fine and all, but I wanna I wanna take him down. I don't wanna um, I don't wanna just cap him. You know? I wanna actually slay the thing. So yeah, that's. <laughs> That's why it took this um this fight took forever. Cause uh the past few fights I got him to limp and then once once he limped I try fighting him some more and then he just kills me right there. He does a combo and I get screwed. So yeah. Uh, okay. That slam thing is so damn annoying because it shakes the ground and if you're anywhere near it, you will be stunned too. Oh man, that shit was annoying. And he is falling over like crazy right now. So this is like the only time that I'll do helm split. <laughs> it's when he can get knocked over or something. Or if he's eating. Or if he's in trap. I did bring traps. But yeah, just so I can do damage. Okay, so... I try to keep close or far away. Cause I don't want him to do that breath attack. Cause sometimes it's just so convenient that you're just right in the center, so you're you're not too far, not too close, and there's just no way of avoiding the laser unless you time dodge. Uh, otherwise, there's no way to avoid it. Like it will catch your ass. I don't know what happened there. I didn't get the um, dodge buff, but it also didn't hit me. So yeah, I don't know. I, I thought I would I would at least get the dodge buff. It's, it seemed like I was close enough, but I don't know. But yeah, uh, it's weird. So I'm gonna try to counter it, and we actually get the counter, but we didn't get the hit, so we didn't get the meter. Got the we got the counter meter for that one, or counter and get the hit for the meter. Yeah, they improved um, the long swords uh, counter attack. I don't know what happened there. He kind of, he kind of lagged. It look. It looked like he, he kind of lagged because there was a little bit of a twitch when they came through his rear back. So I was like, wait, what's, what's happening? So yeah, I actually took the hit there because I was kind of confused with his uh, movements. But I felt like I would have had him there. <laughs> I would have slapped him in the face. If he, if I had knew what he was doing, okay. His rage mode's gone. But yeah, um, if you do the knockback thing on him, if he does that rear back thing and then you hit him in the face, it can snap him out of rage mode once you knock him back. So it's actually pretty cool. And he got the big jackass. I couldn't save him this time.
And once he's do like if he has a monster in his mouth and you get near that monster, even though if you don't get hit by the monster, you will get his saliva on you. And look at that. And I think his saliva drops your defense. I'm not really sure about that, so yeah, I don't know how to do that. But that's just my personal guess. <laughs> I'm guessing it drops your um defense. Did I say stamina? I meant defense. Um yeah, I feel like you get hurt more. Now like you take more damage when he's when you have his uh, saliva on you for some reason. Okay, I'm playing it really careful here. I'm not just rushing in, doing attacks, and like. Okay, he's about to do an attack. I'll just counter or dodge. Is um, yeah, I don't want to miscalculate. Like a counter or a dodge, and then eat like a, like a heavy ass hit, and then he follows it with some stupid shit like a laser or whatever, and I'm screwed. So I'm playing it really careful here. I'm trying to get a sharpen off because my sword's about to, my sharpness is about to go to green. So there we go. And I finally got the sharp jewel actually. <laughs> I got it from the elder melder. I spent all my jewels melding. Just so I can get the shark, uh, the shark jewel. That was, that was something. It's like winning the lottery. So right here, I'm just trying to go for that chest shot, but he screamed and he's walking away now. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Just gotta chase his ass, and he's got. Tempered footprints. I don't know if this is like a tier two footprints or a tier three. I'm assuming it's a level uh, to tier three footprints because the quest itself, I believe, it's a tier three quest. Let's see if we can get the stun. Got the stun. All right. Let's get some damage. This guy gets out of stuns, knockdowns. So damn fast. And traps too. Well, may maybe because he's pissed off. I'm gonna guess it's because he's pissed off. Because um, when he's in his normal form, I don't think he can get out of um, like status ailments and stuff like that fast. Or traps. I think. Like when he's when he's not pissed. Especially um when he's when he's tired. Um he gets stuck in those things forever. Like if you lay if you lay down a pitfall trap, okay, this is how you play this is how you play a pitfall trap with this guy. Um don't do it when he's pissed. And the way you can tell he's pissed, it's he has that freaking red shit on him. Like on his back, you see that red thing when he's pissed off? Um yeah. <laughs> uh like that, see, he's pissed right there. But when he doesn't have that red stuff on him, then that means he's not pissed. And if you lay down a, a pitfall trap, he will be stuck in there for days. And he won't be able to attack you. Okay, if you lay down a pitfall trap when he's pissed off, uh, he'll get out of there fast. And uh, he can also uh, do his breath attack. And I, I think he can do like his head slam attack or something like that. I don't know. But basically, he can attack you if um, you use a pitfall trap while he's pissed off. Uh, so if you want to play it safe and you want to get damage in with pitfall trap, just lay it down, trap him when he's not pissed off. And I don't know why he decided to go through the tunnel here. I'm guessing it's because he was trying to go after my cat. But um, yeah, get your ass back here, man. Get over here. And I noticed he was gonna leave because you can tell if a monster is leaving or not by the minimap. Because um, when you're engaging them, when they want to fight you or kill you, uh, the minimap will be red. The, the circle the outline will be red. But it just flashed white, so I'm like, okay, he's gonna leave. And this bitch ain't leaving. Because <laughs> I'm gonna whoop his ass right here, right now. So yeah, if you flash him, you can just. I can prolong him from leaving. And he screamed again. So I flashed his ass again, and he, he got out of the stun, or the flash stun, so yeah. And pretty much, his moves are not that extreme when he's stunned. 
with a flash. See, it's just like a tackle, tail slam, and breath attack that's not even that extreme. So, yeah, just stayed underneath him. Like, the worst thing that can happen to you, it's um, probably a tail sweep or something. Or at least a stomp, but he doesn't know your exact location, so he can't really do shit to you. So I'm just like spamming my flashes here, and now I have I'm confident that like I can use my helm split without getting uh, wrecked. So yeah, that's why I was using my um, helm split, and I crafted some more uh, flash bombs so I can keep flashing his ass. And he got me with the dragon attack there, but he doesn't know I'm at, so he can't. Well, chances him. Chances of him landing a follow-up attack is not high, so yeah, um, that's why I'm not too worrying. Uh, I I don't worry too much about it. And I also got a shock. I was, I was fully expecting him to walk into it actually, but he got tired, so there's that. And just gonna get some combos off, and now he walked into the trap, and you know, spirits. No, well, not spirit slash. Helm split, and spirit slash. Why not both, right? Okay, because I missed the last hit. That's why. That's why not. And flash again. There's a parato there. Oh, I staggered him, okay. And flash again. You're not getting away, Joe. You're not getting away. And boom, helm split, and we got the kill. So, yeah, that's a uh, tempered Devil Joe solo fight with Longsword. The time on it, it's pretty freaking long. <laughs> but uh, it was my first kill, so I'm pretty happy about it. I don't know, maybe I'll fight him again. Um, There's no... There's no date on the duration of this event, so uh, if you guys aren't watching this video like two weeks later or one week later, um, or maybe like a year, because I get weird comments like that, like people watching a video for like after two or three years and they're like, why didn't you do this? I'm like, okay, because it wasn't like that before. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you guys barely saw this, get on it if you want to take on that double drill. Uh, maybe get some friends on it too. Uh, or if you if you want to solo, <laughs> you can solo too. But I'm just going to tell you, this guy hits really freaking hard. And it's pretty damn annoying too. So yeah, bring pots, bring buffs, stuff like that. And hopefully your run will be uh, smoother than mine's. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So hopefully this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. Um, and be off. If y'all found at least one of those qualities in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Holmes, out.